friends, I decided for my read aloud for the next couple days, um, we're going to do a chapter book. So this is an A to Z mystery book. So for the next 10 days, I'll be reading a chapter of our book. Um, and we will get to read it together and see what happens together. So we'll do a chapter of a day, a chapter a day for the next 10 days. So this is an A to Z mystery book. So there's going to be a little mystery involved. This one is The Absent Author, and these books are by Ron Roy. It says, A is for absent. Come on, Dink dragged his friends down the street to the book nook. They looked through the window, out of breath. The bookstore was crowded with kids. The book nook's owner, Mr. Paisky, had set up folding chairs. Dink noticed that most of them were already taken. Dink saw Mr. Paisky sitting behind a table. A big white sign on the table said, Welcome, Wallace Wallace. But the chair behind the sign was empty. Dink gulped and stared at the empty seat. Where was Wallace Wallace? Chapter 1. Please, Josh, Dink said, if you come with me today, I'll owe you one. Just name it. Anything. Dink's full name was Donald David Duncan, but no one in Green Lawn ever called him that, except his mother when she meant business. Josh Pinto grinned at his best friend. Anything? raised his mischievous green eyes toward the ceiling of Dink's bedroom. Let's see, what do you have that I want? He scratched his head. I know, I'll take Loretta. Dink tossed a pillow at Josh. When I said anything, I meant anything but my guinea pig. Are you coming with me or not? I have to be at the book nook in 15 minutes. Dink rushed into the bathroom, tucking his shirt into his jeans at the same time. Josh followed him. Standing in front of the mirror, Dink yanked a brush through his thick blonde hair. Well, he asked, are you coming with me? What's so important about this writer guy? Josh asked, sitting on the edge of the bathtub. Dink turned around and pointed his hairbrush. Wallace Wallace isn't just some writer guy, Josh. He's the most famous mystery writer in the world. All the kids read his books, except for you. If he's so famous, why is he coming to Dinky Little Green Lawn? Dink charged back into his bedroom. I told you, he's coming because I invited him. I'm scared to death to meet someone so famous. I don't even know what you're supposed to say to an author. Dink dived under the, his bed and back, backed out again with his sneakers. Please come with me. Josh leaned in the bedroom door, doorway. Sure, I'll come, you dope. I'm just trying to make you sweat. Usually you're so calm. Dink stared at his friend. You will? Thanks. I can't believe Wallace Wallace is really coming. When I wrote and asked him, I never thought he'd say yes. Dink yanked his backpack out of his closet. Pack my books, okay? I'm getting Wallace Wallace to sign them all. Josh began pulling Wallace Wallace books off Dink's shelf. Geez, how many does he have? Every one he's written, Dink sat on the floor to dye his sneakers. Twenty-three so far. You should read some of them, Josh. Josh picked out The Poisoned Pawn and read the back cover. Hey, cool, it says here that Wallace Wallace lives in a castle in Maine. Wouldn't that be neat? Dink grinned. Well, I'm a famous, when I'm a famous writer, you can live in my castle, Josh. No way, when I'm a famous artist, you can live in my castle, down in the basement. Josh picked up the riddle in the river. What's this guy look what's this guy look like? he asked. And how come his picture isn't on any of this books? Any of these books. I wondered about that too, Dink said. I sent him one of my school pictures and asked for one of him, but when I got a letter there was no picture. He finished tying his laces. Maybe Wallace Wallace just doesn't like having pictures taken. Josh squeezed all 23 books into Dink's pack. He grinned at Dink. 
Or maybe he's just too ugly. Tink laughed. Gee, Josh, you're ugly, and you love having your picture taken. Ha ha. Josh packed up his drawing pad. But just because you're my best friend, I'll draw his picture at the bookstore. Dink looked at his watch. Yikes, he said. We have to pick up Ruth Rose. In one minute. He tore into the bathroom and started brushing his teeth. How come, how'd you get her to come, Josh called. Dink rushed back in his room, wiping toothpaste from his mouth. You kidding? Ruth Rose loves Wallace Wallace's books. Dink slung his backpack over his shoulder. He and Josh hurried next door to 24 Woody Street. Tiger, Ruth Rose's orange cat, was sitting in the sun on the steps. Dink pressed the doorbell. Ruth Rose showed up at the door. As usual, she was dressed all in one color. Today, it was purple. She wore purple coveralls over a purple shirt and had on purple running shoes. A purple baseball cap, cap kept her black curls out of her face. Hey, she said. Then she turned around and screamed into the house. The guys are here, Mom! I'm leaving! Dink and Josh covered their ears. Geez, Ruth Rose, Josh said. I don't know what's louder, your outfit or your voice. Ruth Rose smiled sweetly at Josh. I can't wait until Wallace Hall signs my book, she said. She held up a copy of The Phantom in the Pharmacy. I wonder if Wallace Hall will read from the new book he's working on, Dink said. What's the title, Ruth Rose asked. They headed toward the book nook. I don't know, said Dink. But he wrote in his letter that he's doing some of the research while he's here in Connecticut. Dink pulled the letter out of his pocket and read it out loud while he walked. Dear Mr. Duncan, thank you for your kind letter. I'm so impressed that you've read all my books. I have good news. I've, read, I've made arrangements to come to the book nook to sign books. I can use part of my time for research. Thanks for your picture. I'm so happy to finally meet one of my most loyal fans. Short of being kidnapped, nothing will stop me from coming. See you soon, Wallace Wallace. The letter was signed Wallace Wallace in loopy letters. Dink grinned. Pretty neat, huh? Pretty neat, Mr. Duncan, teased Josh. You should have that letter framed, Ruth Rose said. Great idea, Dink said. They passed Howard's barber shop. Howard waved through his window as they hurried by. Come on, Dink urged as he dragged his friends down the street to the book nook. They looked through the window, out of breath. The bookstore was crowded with kids. The book nook's owner, Mr. Paisky, had set up folding chairs. Dink noticed that most of them were already taken. Dink saw Mr. Paisky sitting behind a table. A big white sign on the table said, Welcome, Wallace, Wallace. But the chair behind the sign was empty. Dink gulped and stared at the empty seat. Where was Wallace, Wallace? And that's the end of chapter one, so we'll have to see what happens in chapter two tomorrow.